Welcome folks, I'm gonna talk about a new game mode I've been developing for uh, Omega Squad. So this is going to be something similar to Resident Evil Revelations raid mode, if you are familiar with that. So you pick a soldier, you enter into this game mode, which has a separate save file. Um, you pick a soldier, you've been given, you give, you, you have a default soldier, obviously. You have a default weapon equipped and you can select a soldier, you can give him uh, some abilities, I'm gonna show you in a moment. This is the character panel screen, we can activate this one for a second. Don't worry about that, it will be fixed. Um, I just need to move these things up, still need to adjust the basic layout, so basically you have your skills which will be the same usual things like leadership, medical, uh, hacking, weapons and you will have abilities. This is a tree oriented thing. You've got three proficiencies with weapon. So you can have like assault rifle, shotgun and maybe something else which will depend on the character, character class. This will give general proficiency with the weapon and this will increase each of the parameters up to 10. These are 10 levels, obviously they will in uh, will modify your uh, stuff. Now you can select different characters, they have levels and HPs. This is the character screen. You then have the weapon panel which has a description of the weapon. Um, oh, of course I need to move these two guys up. So if I, if I do this you will see them. Okay. It's just a matter of hierarchy. Um, as you can see the weapons work the same as Resident Evil Revelation. You got these tags and these tags will, um, will determine the special abilities of the weapon like explosive shots, long range, short range, faster rate of fire and stuff. You can have the parameters, the damage, the rate of fire, the armor penetration, the clip size and yeah this is one thing. I don't know if I put the mods here. There should be something here for the mods, I think. Right? Equip mod. No, equip weapon. This is to equip the weapon. I just. Yeah, modify and then you place the mods. We have a shop panel, which you can buy. This is an infinite list. You can buy stuff. This is your invent. This is the mm, information window, which I still have to do. Right? Item info folder. Yes. Yes. You can see the information of the item over there. You can buy, you can sell your stuff. Exit the shop and you will be looting stuff during your travel. So you don't need you don't need to buy things. But if you need something specific, you don't want to find or grind the item, you can go to the shop and try your luck there. We have the skill section, which is the same as the single player campaign. This is for your unique ability, so it's the same as single player. And I think there is only the stage selection. As you can see now, you can choose between the uh, six levels of the game. And I can add more uh, stages. For now, there are six. I can add a stage where you have to go through the entire stage or multiple stages, but that's later down the, down the road we will see that. We also have a difficulty folder. You have easy, normal, hard, nightmare, hell and hopeless. These difficulty modes will modify the enemy spawns, allowing for more difficult enemies to spawn. Not only by level, but also by properties. Some enemies will be faster, some enemies will explode when killed, some enemies will do more damage, some enemies um, will be more resilient and so forth. So it's a complete ripoff of Resident Evil Revelation raid mode. You also have grenades. You have frag grenades, EMP grenades, and stun grenades. Uh, EMP are for robots. Stun grenades will stun enemies, and frag grenades are for organic enemies and generally speaking enemies. They will not have armor penetration though. EMP grenades will only affect robots. Um, anything else? No. Medkit counter, ammo clip counter. You have three weapons. If I launch this thing, assuming Unity doesn't crash, or I get some kind of ex exception because I was working 
um, yesterday night or evening so yes you can see I have a soldier, I need to upgrade the sprite by the way uh, level 1, need to fix that thing, need to actually uh, format things but I was just f um, firing up the vari some of the variables, still need to do some variables you can see you have heavy assault rifle level 1 you will find weapons, they will have levels so it's a progressive style of looting you can have up to 3 weapons in your inventory for each soldier you're gonna use only one soldier in a mission so you can choose and that's about it so yeah I'm still working on this thing um, I'm just doing it because I want the game to be the best game it can possibly be so the single player is a good idea and the new game mode will add more value to the game which will justify more the price so we'll see in the meantime, thank you for watching. This was a quick update. I will see you somewhere else. Bye-bye.